What's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be jailbreaking our iOS device on 11.1.2. This also works for 11.0. The steps are the same as the jailbreak for the Apple TV, with the exception that you're gonna need a different IPA file. Go ahead and download the iOS app signer and the IPA file from the description, and then get Xcode from the Mac App Store. All right, so you're gonna open up Xcode, and again, if you're new, all you need to do is go to the preferences, go to accounts, and add your Apple ID. Next, you're gonna create a new Xcode project, select iOS, single view application, and hit next. For product name, we're gonna name this Liber iOS. That's the name of the jailbreak app. Make sure team is your Apple ID and everything else can be left default. Select next. Choose where you want to save this to. I'm gonna choose my jailbreak folder for the iOS. And then you're gonna see this thing spinning. It's gonna do its thing. If you get a message like the one that I got, all you need to do is plug in your device and select it from this menu here. Right here. And it's gonna wait to repair. Once it's done, you should see your email address. So that's a good thing that I got the message because that way I am able to help other people. So once your email shows up here, all you need to do is open up the iOS signer app. You can go ahead and drag and drop the IPA file. For a signing certificate, make sure your Apple ID is selected. For the provisioning profile, you select Liber iOS. Not the one that says UI test, just Liber iOS. Select start. It's gonna ask you where you want to save it. Now for this again, I'm gonna add the words final so it doesn't replace the already downloaded IPA. Hit save and it's gonna take a few seconds. Once it says done, you can close the iOS app signer and go back into Xcode. And from here, you just go to window, devices and simulators, select your device, hit the plus icon, look for that IPA file that we just created and select open. It'll take a few seconds and then the app will be on your device. At this point, go ahead and open the app. And if you get a message saying untrusted developer, what you have to do is go into the settings, go into the general tab, go into profiles and device management. And here you're gonna select your Apple ID. It should be your email. And then you select trust followed by your email. Select so like trust, and now you can go ahead and open the app again. And it's as simple as clicking the do it button. And that's pretty much it. It'll tell you auto updates were disabled, SSH enabled, bin pack installed, and it worked. So that's pretty much it. You can now exit the app. Now remember that after rebooting, you may have to follow these steps again, but it's as simple as going into the app and hitting the do it button. As of right now, there's no advantages of having the jailbreak for the average user. You get SSH if you're more advanced, but that's pretty much it. All you have to do is wait and we may have an update for Cydia, which we will be able to install on our our device. For now, stay tuned for more videos where I will have tutorials on how to do those things as they come out. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.